Thanks for tuning in to Fish On Catfishing, brought to you by Team Fish On. I'm Drew. And I'm Clint. And we're here on site in Baghdad, Iraq, getting ready to fish one of Saddam Hussein's personal lakes. This lake here has a special rumor going around that Saddam used to feed his fish with the, uh, the remains of his victims that he sent through a wood chipper. The fish here have a heightened hunger for meat, from what people say. Yeah, I hope that's true. I'm excited to get some good fishing in tonight, have some aggressive fish out there. Uh, tonight we'll be fishing a special species of catfish that's not common in North America. It's a privilege to be here and serve our country, as well as be able to fish this uh, rare species of catfish that most Americans don't get a chance to fish. It's called the, the stinging catfish, right Clint? That's right. This, the unique thing about these fish is on their pectoral fins they have two venomous glands that uh, enable the fish to inject poison in to its victim through its pectoral fins. Uh, whenever you're handling these fish as any other fish, you need to be very careful in order to keep yourself and the fish safe. Yeah, that's important. Uh, we're going to take extreme precaution tonight, make sure we don't get none of that venom. That's right. And uh, whatever other bacteria might be on there, as it's common with catfish. But uh, I don't know about you, Clint, but I'm ready to uh, get our gear ready and do some fishing. How about you? Let's do it. Time's right. Sun setting. Let's get it. All right. I hope you all enjoy the show. All right, now we're going to talk about the conditions we got tonight. It's 89 degrees out, it's up to 107 during the day, which keeps the water temperature real warm and the fish pretty active. We're going to be fishing a medium rod and reel. We got eight pound test line with a half ounce weight, free, free sliding, followed by a swivel, and then about 12 inches a liter. We don't have steel leaders out here, just due to the uh, restrictions being here overseas, but we got a, a double braided leader with just a regular old three out, four out bait hook. And we're, uh, today we're going to be fishing some beef jerky. Let's just make it the what we got out here. Got a little one on tonight, that feels of it. Oh yeah, got a little guy. This would be a good chance to uh, let me show you what we're talking, what we're working with here. You see here, pectoral fin. They've got their uh, barbels on it. There's little poison glands right up underneath them, inside their body. These things are kind of like uh, needles. Instead of having just bacteria on them like, uh, like the catfish we're used to in America, they actually have uh, toxins in them. But, uh, you can see their little eel-like appearance here. Best way to handle these fish is to get right behind their pectoral fin there. We'll let this little guy go grow up to be a big fish. Fish on. That's a decent sized one. Not too bad for our rack, right? All right, now we're gonna talk about catfish behavior and the best place to find those big catfish we're all after. This is an overview of a typical river. We're going to talk about prime locations to fish for catfish and the best times to fish these areas. Notice the bend in the river and the water current. When fishing a river bend, focus on the outside of the bend. This is where all the food and disoriented bait fish will be pushed due to swells and inconsistencies in the current. Catfish realize this and will focus on feeding in these areas. Catfish tend to move to more shallow areas to feed when the water temperatures are up and lunar conditions are favorable. These areas are usually along the river or lake's banks. When fishing in these conditions, it may be beneficial to keep your bait a few inches off the bottom. When catfish aren't feeding as often, they tend to move into deeper water. Changes in the barometric pressure and temperature can also cause fish to stay on the bottom and feed in deeper water. 
It's a good idea to get in the habit of checking all the variables when you're planning to hit the water. Knowing when and where the fish are feeding can make or break your fishing trip. Like any fish, catfish will move to cover when they feel their habitat has changed. Cold water temperatures, extreme changes in barometric pressure, and also spawning will move the fish into covered areas. These areas can be anything from root beds and rocks to down trees and other debris in the water. When fishing in these conditions, use your technology to your advantage. Fish finders are a great way to find where these big fish might be hiding. If you don't have a fish finder, focus on the river banks and look for down trees and log jams where fish might find good cover. Got a good one on there. Well, Andrew, I'd say it was a pretty good night on the water. I know I enjoyed myself. Yeah, I know I had a good time. The fish weren't biting as good as we like them to, but I still think we did pretty good considering we're here in Iraq. You get kind of spoiled being able to fish your usual spots with your own gear back over the States. Oh, yeah, I definitely agree with that. Well, folks, we hope you enjoyed the show. And be sure to tune in next time for another episode of Fish All and Catfish. And remember, education, preservation, and sportsmanship. These three things alone can help preserve the sport of fishing. But until next time, fish on.